Greetings, folks. Good morning to you all. Hope you guys are doing well. This day came quick. Unbelievable. I cannot believe today is Friday. It was just Monday, and I was just out in the fields leveling up. That went by quickly. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, for this morning, this is going to be a commentary video on the previous level up video I made last week. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different room. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be probably using this room for, uh, yeah, I'm going to use it for a while. Uh, my sister-in-law, she's back in the other room. Uh, she had went to California for a couple weeks to visit some friends, and now she's back. So I can't use that room right now. She's in there asleep, so I have to be in here. So, um, yeah, let's get to this commentary. It's going to take some time. So as usual, I'm going to go through the video and just talk about all of the all of the things get my thoughts on the experience okay so um why am i talking low i have this microphone right here my baby asleep too all right so the first scene here i was in target and i met the the first guy he was from ghana i knew he's from ghana when i saw him as you guys know there's a large population of ghanaians here in columbus ohio um so as usual i did my thing approached him you know, um, asked him if um, he was from Ghana because he looked like a friend. That's one of my punchlines. And um, what else? Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, it's always good to, um, you know, when you see people, if you know they're from a particular place, especially if it's a language that you're studying, it's always good to try to take advantage of that situation to practice to get the experience. Every time you talk with someone, I mean, every time it adds to your experience and you, you hear the language, you're producing it, you're getting more and more used to it. So the more you do that, the more you do that, uh, the more experience you gain and the more you will grow in the language. So that's basically what I did here. And this was actually, that was older footage. This, that, that footage was, um, that was from previously. That wasn't just recently. And what do we have here? The next scene. Next scene was a Somali girl in Target. This was in Target. And um, again, this wasn't just recent. This was an older. This was an older clip. So I leveled up with her, um, as usual. You know, Somali Somali people are they're very easy to talk with. Um, they're always happy uh, when you practice language with them. They are surprised because again, Somali, you have to really have a reason to learn a language like that. You have to either have ancestry or your, your parents or maybe you're um, trying to get a job or you have a lot of friends. You decide to learn. Um, you have to have a reason to learn that language. Otherwise, why are you learning to them? They feel that Somali is a useless language. You should learn something like Arabic or, you know, Spanish. They don't they don't feel that their language is uh, worthy of learning. But um, for me. You know, as many of you know, I like to take advantage of these situations where there's a lot of people where the population is high. Uh, why not? You know, that's a perfect opportunity to learn a language, you see. So, you know, I'll, I don't mind spending all my time trying to learn the language, especially when I can use it, um, you know, in my city, go anywhere. See, but the Somali people, their population is so high here that I can go to an Asian market. Literally. Asian market and level up in Somali. That's how many Somali people are here in in, um, in Columbus. So that's why Somali is my most active language right now. I'm putting a lot into that language because of this, because I can practice it very often. So that was a Somali girl. Um, she was surprised. And as you guys saw, she she was shopping, but she didn't mind taking the time out that understand what I was saying and try to respond back. You see, next one was in, was, what was this? This was, oh, this was Walmart. Two Somali guys buying a basketball hoop net. Um, yeah, I spoke with them briefly. Uh, it was, again, every time you know, if I see a Somali person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of it because I'm learning Somali. I'm not gonna be scared, I'm just gonna approach them and just talk to them and just try to get the experience, try to hear, you know, what they have to say and try to practice what I know, you know, to get the experience. So these two guys are pretty cool. Um, I realized that um, 
someone in the comment area, they mentioned this too, that when I asked the guy where he was from, he said, I asked him where they came from, he said, Gudiga, and see, when I heard it, I'm like, Gudiga, it sounded like home. At first, I, 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 at first, I was thinking home. He said he come from home, but I didn't, I, that's not what I was thinking, like what I wanted to ask him. I wanted to ask him where he came from, like which, which country, or not which country, but where in the country he came from. So, yeah, I was a bit, um, I was a bit, conf I was a bit confused, um, and I was like, is there a place in Somalia called Gudigit? That's why I wrote Gudigit. So, but that was a fun, that was a fun level up there. What was the next scene? Oh, the guy from Ghana again. Um, the guy, yeah, he talked about the experience of a guy being in the hospital and knowing different, how, how knowing different languages is enriching and, you know, that was an interesting um, conversation with him. Again, experience, just, you know, just practice what you know with the, with the people, ask questions, you know. Most of the time, when you ask people questions, they don't mind um, answering them. They don't mind telling you and trying to help you out, as you guys have seen in a lot of these videos. Okay, what's next? Yeah, you guys saw that little, the Somali girl walk past him, but she was, she couldn't speak the language. I tried to talk with her. I cut it out, but she didn't understand what I was trying to say. The next scene was the Filipinos, and I knew they were Filipino. I looked at them, I was like, oh, this guy looks Filipino, and I guess right. Again, you know, I know my startups, sometimes my startups are pretty weird. I asked him, hey, is there fish oil here? He showed me the fish oil, and I looked at him, like, man, he looked like he's from the Philippines. So I went ahead and practiced some Tagalog with him. And again, experience. Experience. What else do we have here? Oh, and then that, the older guy, the uh, older Chinese guy, that was like perfect. He was working in um, Walmart at a stand selling like wheat crackers that was like perfect i saw him i knew he was chinese i was like man this is like the perfect opportunity to practice he's just there and you know he's at the stand so it was fun talking with him i got to use some um edms and you know yeah it was pretty fun talking with him uh, i found i found an interest he said he was learning spanish for like two months or something like that and then he said he stopped because of the verbs that's uh because you know in chinese they don't have to worry about that it's chinese is so straightforward they don't have to worry about you know learning all these different conjugations it's not there so that's why he was putting so much emphasis on the language being difficult and uh hard to remember a lot of that material okay i hope my baby don't wake up here let me see here so <clears throat> yeah, I spoke with him for a while. Yeah, Chinese, that's why I say Chinese is, you know, again, I say this every time. Everyone, I mean, I know you got to be interested, but when you, if you learn in language, if you're looking for a language to learn, especially in language that you, you want to be able to use very often, you have to choose Chinese. Chinese has to be one of those languages that you choose because it's so common. You have so many speakers. I mean, Chinese is so easy to get in. I can get whenever I go out and level up. I can, I mean, I get Chinese every time because it's so e so easy. I, and I haven't even been to Chinese. Re when was the last time I been to a Chinese restaurant? When was the last time I been to a Chinese restaurant? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a great while. I haven't been to a Chinese restaurant for a long time. And look, and I'm you know I'm still getting Chinese in. So. Yeah, you guys uh definitely if you if you haven't started learning a language and you're you're thinking about learning one but you haven't decided which one will be most useful and you know you better definitely consider Chinese cuz that that language cuz the more practice the more people you have around the more practice you get and the faster you pick up the language you know that's if you 
if you get out there and talk with them very often. So let's see. That was a Chinese guy. What's the next scene? Oh, Somali family. Again. So that was fun, speaking with them. Um, yeah. So really nothing to say about this scene. I enjoyed speaking with the woman and her two sons. They seemed to be really busy. Uh, they were looking for something. So I mainly spoke with the Somali woman. And uh, again, she was happy. She was you know, she was open practice. She was open to practice with me, you know. So and that's what I like, you know. If when you can do that, that's motivating. That's very motivating, and it makes me want to do it again, you know. And I haven't had any bad experiences with Somali yet. I haven't had any anyone who didn't really want to talk, because again, that's a rare language, and people are surprised at you uh, taking an interest in it. So. That was that was an awesome level up there with them. She was like, tell me the truth. She just didn't believe that I was teaching myself. Because, you know, that's the thing. Let me talk a little bit about that, too. Like when it comes to teaching yourself language, we see we, you know, every we condition, you know, is our education. You know, they they teach us that we have to rely on someone like you need to. Anything that you want to do, you have to rely on someone. And this is this is part of the conditioning and the education that we got growing up. You know, when when you know when language learning comes up, for example, you say, oh, I want to learn a language. And then, you know, the first thing that's the first thing that's going to come to your mind is school, a teacher, find a teacher, because that's how we naturally taught that we need to we need to have someone to help us to guide us somewhere. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It, it, it's it's okay, but at the same time, you it's kind of when you're when you have like that type of conditioning, it's really hard to think think outside the box and believe in yourself to believe that you have the capability of doing something independently. You know, we we're not taught that uh, growing up here, so that's why most people are they're surprised and don't believe. You know, when you say you taught yourself, because it's like what you it's not you know it's not registering right in their mind because they're in their mind they think well you have to have a teacher this is not possible they think it's impossible they don't believe that and see they looking at themselves too they don't believe that they can do it so it's like okay if i can't do it how in the heck are you able to do it so i, I just think it's a conditioning and it's part of education um that we get you know growing up here so What's next here? Somali family. Oh, and there was another Somali guy. Somali guy I spoke with. He was trying to give me some um, recommendations on, you know, like he was recommending me to go over to um, Somalia one day to visit. And he was trying to explain to me where this place, I think it's a, some community here near, like actually up the street. Because on this side of town, man, we have a lot of Somali. It's crazy over here. And you just see Somali people walking in. Somali woman just walked in. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Another Somali guy walked in. I spoke with him. You know, you just got to keep doing that. If you keep doing that, you're going you're gonna to get better. You're going to get better in the language, you know, because you're actually using it. Rather than just being at home all the time, you got to use real life language. You got to hear it, you know, and that's the thing. Like it happened to me, like a lot of things I know in Somali. But when I get in front of a native, something happens. It's like they say stuff. And then like if I don't catch it and then I ask them what they said and they tell me what they said, it's like I knew what it was. You know, it's different when you're getting it thrown at you. You see, you got to get stuff coming at you. What was next? Oh, the Spanish guy, the guy from um, Panama. I thought he was Asian. He looked Asian to me. Uh, that was interesting. He was talking about, I guess he was he was commenting on my, um, he was talking about the accent, the intonation. And I, I, I'm guessing he was, he said that because I don't use the correct accent on my on um, certain Spanish words, which is true. You know, I haven't really, you know, for Spanish, I studied Spanish for like a year. Uh, when I was doing Spanish, 
I was working with someone, Ron. I, he, we worked together. We were, you know, we were doing Spanish hardcore together, creating sentences, you know, all that good stuff. And um, I didn't really immerse myself in Spanish. I didn't do enough listening. Like, for example, what I'm doing right now for Somali and what I did for Cantonese, I didn't do that for Spanish. You see, the only way to get intonation accents right is through you got to immerse yourself. You got to hear the language, immerse yourself and really, you know, be speaking a lot and trying to mimic those natives. And unfortunately, that is something I didn't do for Spanish. So that's why I don't put the correct the the you know the correct accent on certain words if i immerse myself in the language and really really take it seriously then you know it will be different but um it's okay because i'm understood i can get my point across which is the most important when that time comes you know uh especially when my daughters start learning spanish i'm going to take it more seriously and work on my um intonation and accents or whatever but um, that's what the Spanish guy was talking about. And because uh, when he was talking about that stuff, first, I was thinking, like, what is he talking about? Why is acento? I thought he was talking about because when I say certain Spanish words, I pronounce it with the, like a th, like C, like a th. You know, I don't pronounce it in a Latin American way. I use more of a Spaniard accent. I thought he was talking about that. But then I realized in the middle of the conversation that he was talking about, I was like, okay, he's probably talking about because I use the wrong accent on certain words. But he didn't tell me directly. He was just giving me examples. But it's all good. I mean, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's the truth. You know, I just need to work on that stuff. Put more effort into it and get, and get better at it. Okay, what's the next? Uh, let me see where we at. We got 16 minutes in. Okay. Okay, the guy from Panama. Let's skip through that. Oh, and then I went back. The Chinese guy saw him again. This was the next day. A uh, uh, baby about to wake up. She hears she hears me talking. Uh, let's try to get this done. Yeah, I went back the second time, and um, I was surprised to see him. I didn't think he was gonna be there again. But yeah, it's a nice guy. Oh, and then uh, it was with Marcel at Walmart. We ran into the Taiwanese woman. That was interesting. She was nice. Um. Yeah, she. Yeah, when I realized she, you know. She was asking me like the same questions and I realized that maybe she had like all timers or something, but it was it was all good. She was nice. You know, she took her time. She she stood there and took all, all that time to talk with us. You see, you know, she just kept it and she kept asking me questions. I didn't even really ask her that many questions. And I was shocked because I, I only remember the last time when someone had asked me that many questions. She just kept asking me questions, kept asking me questions, kept asking me questions, which is a good thing. You know, I enjoyed the practice. But the point is she took her time out and practiced the Chinese. I mean, she even threw some Taiwanese in there once she realized that I, you know, had some Taiwanese under my belt as well. So it's always good. You know, I, I remember in the past some people were saying, oh, you know, you're bothering the people. You're bothering the people. I, I've seen that so many times. You're not bothering anybody. You're not bothering them. If I'm working and someone and I'm being bothered, I'm going to just tell the person, look, I, you know, sir, sorry, I got to go now. And, you know, nice talking with you. That's what the average person going to do if they're being bothered. But someone who takes like 10 minutes of their time and talk with you. No way. I'm not going to sit there and talk with someone for 10 minutes, especially if I feel that I'm being bothered. I see that you're trying to learn the language. I'm going to just keep talking. I'm gonna, at least 10 minutes. Five to ten minutes. But this woman was really nice. She was nice. I mean, this is beautiful. It's just 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 simply beautiful. Okay, let me skip through this. Man, spoke with her for a while. And then oh we had some other Chinese Chinese guy with his girlfriend came by. Let me see what else. Oh, and the Indian guy. See, this was an older clip. See that one when I was on Marcel. That was recent. That was a that was a that was a very recent um, clip. But the one with the Indian guys, that was an old clip. I was just going back through my archives and found it. So you know what? I'm gonna just throw this in there. So, yeah, Hindi. Definitely get back on Hindi. I don't know when, but um, Hindi Hindi is definitely a language that I want to be fluent in and be really good. Um, 
that's a good language to learn just like Chinese because there are so many native speakers here in the city. I just have to buckle down, you know, and get into it. So I just don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh, but definitely Hindi, uh, that's, an, that's another good language to learn. I mean, there's a lot of Somali people able to speak Hindi language. Um, I met, what was the next part? Oh, the part with the the guy from Ghana with his sister. That was actually an older clip as well. That was older. That was an old clip. And she was shocked. She was shocked out of her mind. You know? That was funny. That was very funny. But yeah, Chui, this language, Chui, Somali, Amharic, um, what other? Oh, uh, Wolof, Fulani, uh, what other African languages? I would say Yoruba, but I, I don't meet too many. I haven't really met many Nigerians here, but I hear that they're they're around. Just I just don't know like where they where they are. But these five African languages here in Columbus are very, very, very useful. Tree, I mean, every time I go out and level up, I'm going to meet someone from Ghana. Whenever I go out and level up, I'm going to meet someone from Ghana, Somalia, uh, I was in Ethiopia, not all the time, but those two, they, every time, every time, every single time. But yeah, this was funny. The girl was, she was just freaking out when I was speaking tree, you know, and I love those reactions. Very motivating. Makes me want to just keep on doing it. Let's see here. What's next? That's about the end of the video. Um, oh, and the last part was a guy. Oh, this random guy, he just came up. I guess he been following me on YouTube, and <laughs> that was funny. That was really, really funny. I, I didn't expect that. Um, I've gotten a lot of people come up to me and, hey, man, you look, you, you, you that guy on YouTube. I mean, that's sometimes I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't want to be, you know, I, I mean, it's cool that I, people been following me, but at the same time, I'm kind of like undercover. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be pointed. I don't want to be spotted. I don't want people to recognize me all like that. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's all right. It's, it's like I said, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's funny that, you know, I'm at home. It's like, I think about like, man, I'm at home in front of the camera and I leave home and I go to random places and then someone recognizes me. It's just, it's just amazing. But, um, anyway, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the um, previous level of video. If you guys haven't seen this video, I'm going to link it to this. Um, I'm going to put it in the description so you guys can check it out. And um, yeah, as usual, thanks a lot for your support. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, tomorrow is the day again that I level up the next level of video. I'm, I'm still working on subtitles. Um, it's, it looks like I could probably get it up tomorrow, but I don't know. I can't guarantee it, but definitely this weekend. By Sunday, the new level of video will be out. I'm trying to stick with the schedule, um, stay on track with the schedule. Like every Saturday, um, I have I go out for about five or six hours. I leave in the morning, and I'm, all, I'm out all the way until like five or six o'clock just leveling up, getting footage for the next week. So I'm trying to stick with this schedule because after that day, then I really don't go out anymore. So I'll, I'll go on Saturday and I'll wait until next Saturday because I'm busy at home with the girls and you know I got all this other work that I have to do. So um, I think it'll be perfect as long as I can stick with it. So yeah, that is it. Um, tomorrow's a day. Guys, wish me luck. We're going to see what we can get in. And um, again, thanks a lot for your support. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, thanks for viewing, and you guys have a great weekend.